Hey everyone, this is Shane from developjava.com and today I'm bringing you your second Java tutorial. In this tutorial today we're going to be looking at the Java JDK and the Eclipse IDE. So we'll be explaining what those are, what their purpose is, as well as how to download and install those. We'll go through that step by step. So the first thing we're looking at here is the Java JDK. So what a JDK is, uh, what it stands for is Java Development Kit. What this is, this is software we have to install on the computer so that we can develop a Java program. It has lots of stuff that kind of runs in the background um, that we don't really see. It's not really a software that we open up and use. Um, it's just something kind of behind the scenes that al allows us to develop Java programs. So the next thing here is the Eclipse IDE. What an IDE is, is an it's an integrated development environment. What it allows us to do is develop Java um, in a program that is easy to use kind of like like you could probably just like just like java and like a word document you could do it all like in notepad but why would you when you have word that has so many more features and functionality to use it's just better to do something like that in word so it's kind of the same thing we could type we could write java in in notepad but we're going to use eclipse because it's just a better environment now there are several several other IDEs out there on the market. Um, some of them free, some of them paid for, some better than others. Um, my favorite is Eclipse, so that's what we're going to use. Um, these other ones, just JBuilder and NetBeans, are just some other popular ones that are out there. So feel free to check them all out. You don't have to use Eclipse. It's just what I, I've enjoyed using. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and download that JDK. So to do that, go ahead and just open up your favorite browser here. Go to Google, and we'll just type in Java JDK. And the first thing that comes up is this Java SE download, so we're going to click on that, and it should take us to Oracle's website. There we go. All right, so we've got a couple different options here to download our, our JDK. Um, the three on the right here have other features um, included in them, and we don't really need that stuff. We just need the basic JDK, so we're just going to click on this first one here. That's the one that, that we want to download. All right, next, asking us here for our operating system, so I'll go ahead and choose Windows. Um, so this this brings a good point up that I want to mention about Java that's really cool is that Java is not platform specific. So what that means is whether it's Windows or Macintosh or Linux or any other operating system out there, you can still develop and run Java on those operating systems. So it's a really pretty cool feature about Java because there's certain programming languages that can only run on, be run on like Windows or only be run on Mac. So Java isn't like that. You can run on any any operating system. So the next thing it's asking us to do here. It's agree to the terms of service. Now, for legal purposes, I'm not going to tell you to agree, but I would tell you if you don't agree, then you can't download the JDK. So the next page here should give an option to download it. Go ahead and click on this link here, and we'll save the file. Now, I've already got this saved to my desktop, so I'm not going to do this again, um, but this is a great spot if you want to stop the video right here, wait till you get it downloaded and start it again, then we can go from there. All right, so we've got the JDK sorry JDK here um, on our desktop so we're gonna go ahead and double click this to run it now my installation may look different than your guys's because of the fact that I already have this installed so if it looks different at all just bear with me kinda of follow the prompts that you get on your screen and it should be pretty simple to install so the first thing is telling me here of course is that I already have it installed and asking me if I would like to reinstall it so go ahead and tell it yes now as this goes through some of these some of these parts are gonna take like 30 seconds to a minute for for the uh, JDK to set up during that, I may pause um, recording this video. So if you see the screens kind of change abruptly, that's just because I paused it and restarted again. That way you guys don't have to sit through the whole process. All right, so that part took about 30 seconds, 45 seconds. And this is the next screen we come to, so we just go ahead and click Next. Now this gives you the option to install different components, um, different features of everything. For simplicity purposes, let's just go ahead and install everything. So all we do here is just click Next. So it's installing here now. This should take about another 30 seconds or so. After that completes, we come to a product registration screen. And we just go ahead and hit finish here. And it should finish the installation. The next thing that will come up is um, a web page asking us if we want to register or if we want to create an account. So we just go ahead and close out of that. So now we've got the JDK installed. We're ready to start creating a Java program. Now, right now we would have to do create our Java programs using Notepad. As I said before, it's probably not usually the best way or easiest way to learn and to do it. So we're going to install that Eclipse IDE that I was talking about. So just go ahead and open your browser back up. And we'll go back to Google. And we'll just type in Eclipse IDE. 
first one that comes up here is Eclipse.org, and we can just go ahead and click on this Downloads link. comes up with all the different versions here. The one we want is this first one, Eclipse IDE for Java developers. And if you're using Windows, just go ahead and choose your Windows version. Now, if you're using a Macintosh, um, I'm sure there's other development environments out there for you. You may want to look into NetBeans. I'm not sure if that is um, works for Macintosh as well or not. So we're going to click this green arrow here to download it. Choose where we want to save it. And again, like the JDK, I've already got this downloaded on my desktop. So if you want to, go ahead and pause the video here until you get this downloaded as well, and then go ahead and restart it again. All right, so what, what downloads here is a zip file. So the Eclipse is a zip file. So if you're running uh, most Windows-based computers, you should just be able to right-click on this file and hit Extract All. And then you should that should give you another folder here. And if we open that folder, open the Eclipse folder, um, to install this, we should just have to click on the Eclipse.exe. So go and open that. Again, mine's going to look different. It'll probably just open up right away because I've already got it installed. For you, probably the first thing you'll come up to is a little box asking you to choose your workspace, I think it's called. And what that is is just whenever you create applications and things, it's good. that's where it's going to save all of your files to. So you may want to check that checkbox down below that says use as default. That way every time you save something, it's not going to come up every single time and ask you where you want to save it. So the window that you'll come to after you get the installation done will probably look more like this one here. A um, couple of features here has an overview of Eclipse. It has some tutorials that you can look at, different things like that. And if you want to look at those, great. If not, you can just click this button over here to Workbench, and we'll get you to this page. So this is the Eclipse IDE. And then there's a lot of stuff in here, and it may look kind of confusing, but don't worry. As the tutorials keep coming, we'll be going to this stuff, and I'll explain everything in here that you guys will need to know. So that's pretty much it for the tutorial today. So we went ahead and downloaded that Java JDK so that we can make uh, Java programs. And we downloaded the Eclipse IDE to make it a little bit easier for us. And so we're pretty much ready to go. Next tutorial, we'll be actually writing some Java code. So if you guys like the videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel and check out my website at developjava.com. Thanks, guys.